Back to the Florida A&M, we thank Beta Alpha Chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority. Great spirit here. We'll get them going. We'll get them going. They're, they're frozen. <laughs> A little bit later on. Great spirit here. It's also, by the way, homecoming over at Florida State. And they may boo the Seminoles here, but there's a player over there who must be respected. He's the running for the Rhodes Scholarship. And that's the most prestigious academic award you can win as a college student. Bill Clinton, Bill Bradley, former Supreme Court Justice Byron Wizard White all received it. And now a guy who's a three-year starter for Florida State will find out a week from today whether or not he's going to be heading off to Oxford to study for a couple of years. Jeremy Schaap has this outside the lines story. If biotechnology can eventually create a human being whose DNA is equal parts Deion Sanders, Albert Einstein, and Mother Teresa, he or she would probably measure up to Myron Roll. Maybe. You know, coaches could live a long time if they were all like Myron. He's got his priorities in the right place. Hey, oh, oh. Football, the sport in which he was the top recruit in the country coming out of high school, is only one of Roll's talents. Academically, he's a superstar. He graduated in August after only five semesters of college with a 3.75 grade point average in pre-med and hopes to eventually practice medicine as a brain surgeon. With all his achievements, Roll is now a finalist to become one of the 32 Rhodes Scholars the United States will send next year to Oxford University. This is a, uh, an award that I've worked for for a very long time, but not for the acclaim of being a Rhodes Scholar, not for the title, but more for the experience. Nice job defensively by Myron Roll again. Playing football among some great athletes, Roll is, well, a role model for his teammates, including senior cornerback Tony Carter. Do you just marvel at all the things that he does? All the time. How do his teammates help keep him humble? Talk trash to him, of course. <laughs> They call me the doctor, they call me the president, the governor. I have so many nicknames in the locker room. Whenever there's a debate, whatever the issue is, they will always call me over and say, Myron, what do you think about this? And once I give my opinion, it's over. I disagree. <laughs> it depends on, you know, what type of argument. So he doesn't actually know everything. He doesn't know everything, but he, he's pretty close. <laughs> On November 22nd, he'll be in Alabama for his interview with the committee that selects the Rhodes Scholars. That night, Florida State will be playing at Maryland, perhaps with ACC division titles at stake. FSU will fly roll to Maryland, but he's likely to miss at least the first half with Bobby Bowden's blessing. I was told by our athletic director, Mr. Speckman, uh, who came by my office, usually when he does, there's bad news, somebody's in trouble, you know. And he told me, he said, uh, Myron is going to qualify for the, for the Rhodes Scholar, and they're going to have the, final, the finals the day of the Maryland ball game. And I, I think he probably expected me to say, oh, no, you got to work. No, it didn't, it didn't even enter my mind. You only get a shot once, like, once a lifetime. You know, it, that was a no-brainer to me. It was a no-brainer for the future brain surgeon, too. My priority is academics. I'm a student first. A lot of times in that term, student athlete, that student part gets lost. The coaches who know me, when they recruited me, they know I was a student first. Uh, and they know that education is, is number one. What would you rather win? A Rhodes Scholarship to Oxford or the Heisman Trophy? A Rhodes Scholarship. Uh, not to say the Heisman Trophy isn't a great, but the Rhodes Scholarship means that much more. And, uh, I certainly would like to win that. There's another college football player who's up for the Rhodes Scholarship, Casey Gerald, who's a cornerback at Yale. Rod Gerald, former Ohio State quarterback, his son, he's going to go for an interview next week. That's the week of the Harvard-Yale game. These guys put in, in tough positions. By the way, Roll hopes that after he gets his medical degree, he can open a clinic in the Bahamas, native country of his parents, to treat the poor down there. Terrific guy. And as a football player this year, they've gotten him to approach, you know, playing DB with the same kind of preparation and enthusiasm that he approaches academics. And it's worked. He's had a big year, and so has Mickey Andrews' defense here. Opposing quarterbacks completing under 50% of their passes on third down. They've been phenomenal. 
Virtually impossible to convert. 18.8%. That's incredible. Percent. Think about that. One in five, less than yeah, that. no shot. They're also very, very tough in the red zone. Not allowing touchdowns in close. Less than 35% of the time, the opponents score a touchdown inside the red zone. So they're playing fierce defense. Now, Boston College, who visits uh, tonight,